So, Hawkeye is done, and I genuinely think that was one of my favourite MCU series. I know, you know, some people are thinking it's their least favourite, some people are really enjoying it, and I'm definitely in the latter camp. I think Hawkeye was a really nice, you know, change of pace for MCU Disney+, Plus, and it really, really worked for me. So as I've done with all the other MCU Disney Plus series, I want to rank the episodes. Just to clarify, I don't think there are any particularly bad episodes here, just some really, really great ones, and some meh ones. So, let's get started. So at number six, I'm going to go with episode two. So this episode was very much the um, building Hawkeye and Kate's dynamic. We had all the LARP stuff, we, you know, developed all the Bishop family drama. And that's really what a lot of this episode is, is a lot of setting up. Because the episode does a lot of work, you know, set up Kate and Clint's dynamic, set up all of that Bishop family drama, and for me, it's too set up -y. While this episode is important for the later episodes, it really doesn't do enough for me to make this interesting on its own. And some days I'm really confused about how I feel about it, because with all the, the LARB stuff, LARB, not whatever it's called, I find it really funny, and I find it really enjoyable, but it takes too long, and it it makes this episode feel quite unfocused from a story perspective. At number five, I'm going to go with episode one. Now here we don't actually see Kate and Clint together. It's very much Kate and all of the um, stuff with the bishops, and then Hawkeye and a little bit of stuff with his interactions with his family. In terms of what I enjoyed about this episode, all of the stuff with Hawkeye and the setups with his family and Rogers the musical, I just, I thought all of that stuff was great. However, that all amounts to about 10 minutes of screen time, and this first episode is really Kate Bishop focused. And while I super enjoyed the Hawkeye on his own stuff, I thought the Kate Bishop stuff was good enough, but again, very set up -y. You get some fun moments like the auction, but even the action there isn't quite, you know, moving at the pace we need it to. This does usually happen though with the MCU Disney Plus shows where, bearing in mind it might not be the exact order, but the first few episodes usually rank lower than the finale, because obviously in the finale you get the big action, you get the payoffs, and you get set up in the first couple of episodes, which happens with most MCU shows, and I'm willing to forgive it. I'm used to giving these shows the benefit of the doubt and waiting for them to get better almost. At number four, I'm going to go with episode three. On the one hand, you've got some brilliant stuff here, that action and the use of the arrows. It's all really cool stuff. I also like the way they really start to build the Kate and Clint dynamic and all of the stuff with his deafness. It's just, it's really working here and the action is fantastic. However, structurally, it feels odd because you've got the kidnaps at the start, then you've got the long, long action scene, and then you've got some little bits at the end. It feels quite odd structurally. I also don't mind the, all the echo set up in this episode and just echo throughout the show, but it's just that, not only a setup, but it feels a little bit more out of place this setup because obviously it's setting up for the echo spin-off show. And it's fine, I get it, the MCU has to be expansive and set up things, but it doesn't do the best job of hiding that setup. Things like the family stuff in episode one are examples of great setup that are still, you know, engaging on their own. And there's a lot of setup in the early episodes of Hawkeye that isn't quite as convincingly done. At number three, I'm going to go with episode five. Now, overall, this this is where the series starts to get really, really good. I think all of the stuff with Yelena and Kate in this episode is absolutely fantastic. That conversation, Yelena as a character was just brilliant in Black Widow and she's just there smashing it again. Florence Pugh is genuinely one of the additions to the MCU that I think is the most exciting. And yeah, that dynamic is really, really enjoyable. I also think this episode finally bites the bullet of discussing the Ronan stuff. Because, yeah, we kind of danced about the Ronan stuff in previous episodes, but this episode really went to town on that element, and that's something that was promised about the series, and this episode delivers. But again, this is where Echo starts to become more a part of the show, instead of just being there to set up her own show. And of course, the Kingpin reveal is absolutely fantastic. Who couldn't love that reveal? So at number two, I'm going to go with episode four. This episode didn't exactly give me what I expected out of the Hawkeye show, but it was so impressive. I think the ending with the fight and, you know, the going into the fats and the Elena reveal is really, really good, you know, climactic stuff. But a lot of the best bits about this episode are just characters sitting down and talking. 
genuinely that 10 minutes with Kate and Clint and the, you know all the Christmas stuff and then the emotion that we get out of Clint afterwards all that stuff is so effective I think that 10 minutes is better than most things we see in the show honestly I loved that little segment this episode just feels tight it feels really explorative of our characters the relationship building and the dynamic building is just superb and doesn't feel forced at all yeah overall i really really liked this episode i thought it did a fantastic job and at number one i am going to go with episode six the finale just saying yeah i kind of had to pre-film that last bit so i'm kind of adding this now please please don't hate me i think overall as a successful finale that was probably one of the best MCU Disney Plus show finales. I think with this entire show, I think you probably have the least to go with the character of Hawkeye compared to, you know, you've got your Scarlet Witches, you've got your, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldiers. You know, this definitely felt like I had the least to go, but this finale actually felt like it was the most successful and did the most with the character they had available. I think the action was superb. I think the resolution to a lot of our plot threads, including, you know, the Kate and hawkeye dynamic it was it was really fantastic but also if you believe they killed kingpin at the end you you're wrong you are wrong he's he's still alive still great episode kingpin was fantastic everything was fantastic it was a really good episode of hawkeye and of any disney plus show so thank you very much for coming on this journey of ranking Hawkeye episodes for me. I know it's a slight pain when I film this segment, because obviously when I'm filming this, I don't know where episode six is going to come. But thank you for understanding that, you know, it's just important for me to be able to get this content out as quick as possible. So overall, yeah, um, Hawkeye was really one of the best MCU shows of 2021 for me. I thought it was incredible. If you want to see me rank the Disney Plus show so far, I'll do it. Um, If you want it, give me a like and drop a comment. You know what, as soon, if one person comments it, I'll do it. And you'll get a shout out. Woo! Apart from that, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you later.